Hi everyone, I have got my 13th box of wine from the Wink Wine Club. It's been over a year since I've been getting this. I am still enjoying it and I love the motto, thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel, welcome to my home, welcome to another episode of Wink Wine from my Wine Diary series. Oh my gosh, I am having so much fun with this and I'm having even more fun knowing that you guys are here. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today, we are doing Wink Wine. So it is my 13th box of wine from Wink Wine Club. I started this last year and I've just had so much fun doing it. And I will put first video that I did up there, my first unboxing of this wine. And there'll be a playlist at the end showing the different wines that I've had, the different maybe fascinators and costumes that I've had. It's just been so much fun um, bringing these to you guys and just sharing them with you and just the experimenting and trying new things. That's I think that's what makes it exciting for me. And plus I don't have to go out of the house because, you know, sometimes you go to the a wine store, a liquor store, and there's thousands and thousands of bottles. And I would pick wines that had cute labels or kind of, you know, names. And um, yeah, I, I, I did not have the best of luck. More of those wines went down the drain than anything. And since I've been getting this, it's only been like one or two that really haven't been my favorites. And, but other than that, I am just loving them. I will have my link below as well for Wink Wine Club. Um, if you check on that, that link, it's going to take you right to their website. It's going to be a quick questionnaire of the different foods that you like. From there, they will curate a box of four wines for you. If you decide you wanted to go for it, the first four bottles are $29.95. Shipping is free, and I would get a free bottle. I mean, if you go on their website as it is without anybody's link, it's still the $29.95 for your first bottle. But if you use my link, I get a free bottle of wine. I know. And uh, yeah, so if you, you can take those ones that they curate for you, if you know what you love already, you can purchase anything that you'd like. You do not have to take their recommendations. Um, after you've had your, your wines and you rate them, that's how they kind of curate the next boxes for you based on how your feedback is. If you decide to go with it, the next month, it'll be $59. Again, shipping is free. And they do offer premium wine. So if you do choose some of those wines, it'll add a couple of dollars to that. And um, you're free to skip a month anytime you want. And it's just a lot of fun checking out that. They also send you recipes uh, with the wines that you get. So you can check it out and see and kind of base your dinners around some of those wines. So I've been having fun doing that as well. And then, of course, just doing what I want to do because, you know, not, you know, none of us are made of money and just can kind of go out to the store anytime we want. You know, we've got a freezer full of food we have to get through first. But anyway, that's it. Let's get into the wine. So the wine, and I've had this one. I think I've had the Pinot Noir before from them. I know I've had some other ones from Folly of the Beast. This is Pinot Noir. It's 2020. This is, I believe, is a California wine. So in this box, I have um, a wine from Australia. I've got one from South Africa, one from France, and this one from California. So anyway, I'm going to open this wine, and then I will be right back. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty, so we have got it opened, and um, I love it when they have the name on, on the corks as well. So it's Folly of the Beast. And it does tell you a little bit on the back, it does contain sulfites. And it says, For there is no folly of the beast of the earth 
which is not infinitely outdone by the madness of men. Herbert Herman Melville from Moby Dick. So it says, creating quality Pinot Noir at an affordable price is a wine-making obsession, the ultimate white whale. Folly of the beast is our mission to achieve the impossible. And the artwork on this label is by Hunter Patrick. Again, so we just have the whale's tail on that. Alrighty, so let's pour this into my glass. And I do have my Valentine's mask that I got from Country Jade. You know, I think I said the last time I had this glass, or one of the times I had this glass, I was going to post her name below from her, her Etsy website, and I think I forgot. So anyway, I'm going to try to remember it. She does have other items there as well. And this is Wine, Kisses, and Valentine Wishes. Alrighty, so let's check this out. And I do have dinner tonight with this as well. I should have got my aerator from the kitchen, but I didn't. Alrighty, so it's, it is translucent. It's not as heavy as some of the other wines. So it is a little see-through. It's kind of like a light garnet color, I'm going to say. I, of course, what you see on the monitor is probably different from what I see. I do see some nice legs on this, so it tells me it's a little bit of alcohol content, and yeah, you can really see the legs on this one. Alrighty, so let's kind of stir this around, get those fragrances to unleash after they've been bottled up for so long. Well, who knows for how long? It's a 2021. Alrighty, so, alrighty, ready for this. Mm, I smell something spicy. I don't know what that is. Not cinnamon, but something close. Maybe black cherry. Maybe blackberry. Alrighty. It smells nice and fruity. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. A happy, happy Friday. Mmm. This has got a really nice body. I'm going to say medium to full, but it does have some really nice soft tannins that you can feel instantly kind of dry your mouth out right away. And even though there's not like really anything citrusy in here, you do get the acid from the fruits, the acidity here it kind of kicks in. Your mouth starts to water a little bit and it just is a really nice sensation. Your mouth is just left with a really nice coating of flavor. It's nice and fruity, but it's still dry. Some kind of spice that I can't figure out. It's not cinnamon, but it's it's something that I know that I've had before. Anyway, I'm going to have another quick sip. See if I see something different. Taste something different. Mm. This is really good. It's not as heavy as a Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot, so it's got a nice, it's medium, but it's still like a light kind of flavor. If I don't think I said that right, but it's not as heavy as some of the other ones, but it's got a nice light texture. Really nice. That's something that's nice, sippable wine. And again, because I've been having my red wines at room temperature, the flavors just really kind of come alive for me. I am really enjoying this. It's going to be hard in the summer when everything's hot again. I'm going to have to put it in a cooler or something to kind of get it back to where it should be. Anyway, my notes from their website. So it's 2020, Folly of the Beast, Pinot Noir. It's from the Central Coast, California. Out of the 5,671 people that tasted this and rated it, it's got a 4.2 out of 5. So that's pretty good. It says it's got a, it's elegant, complex, and refined. Kind of like me, refined. <laughs> All right. Anyway, step up one side. Step aside, coffee, and this is a job for alcohol. Yeah. So anyway, uh, tasting notes. It says it's allspice, all blackberry, leather, and red cherry. Uh, it's 13.6% alcohol, dry, and a medium body. Um, it says folly of the beast is a Pinot Noir that proves that a little madness pays off. It's our mission, our madness, if you will, to consistently deliver impossibly good 100% Pinot Noir at an unrivaled price. It says, aged in partially new oak to enchant the note of sweet spice, this round Pinot 
shows notes of cherry, red fruit, dark berries, and forest floor. Folly is an elegant wine that'll be a showstopper at your next dinner party. It says how to serve it. Serve it chilled. Let it warm up in your glass. Pairs well with pizza, pasta, red sauce, cured meats, and barbecue. So what am I having with mine? I am having spaghetti. I've got a little garlic stick here and I've got a meat sauce that I took out of the freezer and then I just made some meatballs and put some meatballs in here. Some grated mozzarella cheese. I really like fresh mozzarella cheese but I didn't have any but I did have grated. So that's going to be my dinner tonight with my wine and I am so excited that you guys stopped in. Spent a little bit of your night with me. You guys you guys are amazing and I am just so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life and uh, I, I just can't describe what a feeling it is when even though I'm so far behind on comments, I know, I apologize, but it just, it just warms my heart to just read everybody's comments and when you click like, it's, it's just, it, it's just an amazing feeling. So Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Again, I would love to hear about some of your favorite wines. I mean, eventually I may end up stopping Wink and going different wines that I like now. And when I'm able to really walk through a store again without losing my breath and having people, you know, want to call 911 on me. Yeah, it's pretty bad sometimes. But anyway, eventually I'm going to get there. Yeah, I am. But in the meantime, you know, I can still shop online from different stores that deliver. So I would love, love to hear some of the things that you guys enjoy for your wines and what you like to pair it with. And, uh, you know, this summer, I'm looking forward to having my girl again. Right now it's buried in the snow. I should have taken it in the garage and then I could have taken it out, but I didn't. Well, I got the one in this greenhouse downstairs. That's the big girl. I would have to get a new gas tank because I haven't used it in about six years. I'm sure it's not there anymore. I'm sure it's empty. But um, I got an electric girl in the house too, but it's not the same as being outside. But anyway, I'm starting to lose my voice. And I just want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day. I love you guys so much. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys go out. Have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And we will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.